Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Synthscaper. In this video, we are going to go through how to manage scenes in Synthscaper. Scenes are, uh, I would say, to, for me, the starting point. Uh, when you start working with a Synthscaper, you have scene, then you have oscillator presets, and then you have samples. So it makes sense to start from Sim. When you load um, Synthscaper, you might have already a Sim loaded. Like in this case, I have a window at Nebula. That's the name of the scene which is loaded. And you can hear how it sounds. Now, we are going to talk primarily of this part of Synthscaper because that is the starting point. So if you click on the title where it says Window at Nebula, you open this uh, screen where you can manage your scene. So let's, let's go through how this works. So first of all, you have a close button, which is very simple. Then you have a unpack button, which I will explain in a moment. Then on the main screen, you have on the left, they're called hotkeys. Uh, they're practically a shortcut. And when you click on one of them, it set that scene and it also quits the scene screen. So for example, if I click on the second one here, it will load that one and close the screen. So if I go back again, you will see that that is selected. And also, it, that scene has been selected for the corresponding group that it belongs to. What does it mean? It means that, as you can see here, there is, um, and it says group, and then it says the name of the group, which is called Sunscapes. So you can group effectively scenes into, uh, into groups. So you can put them together into groups for easy management. You can go... Uh, uh, up one level of the group or so the group in two ways you can click back here and you go to the top of the tree where you can see other categories or other groups or if you are inside one particular group you can click also on the word group and it brings you back up again as you can see you have a number of groups and also you have an empty scene the empty scene for me is very important if you click on it of course nothing happens <laughs> Because uh, contrary to the sh hotkey um, shortcut, um, w if you select a scene uh, from the list here, you have to set it. So you click on the set button. Now, as I was saying, the empty scene is quite important because it creates, as the name says, an empty scene. And um, the interesting part of this, which I will cover in the next tutorials or, or how we progress in the next tutorials, is that um, the empty scene gives you the basic really of a scene. You still have your free oscillators as it is in Simscaper, but the number one and number three are muted. You see the M there. And only number two is active. And you can see that because you have a sine wave. And you can have also confirmation of that it is a sine wave, which you will see in later tutorial how that works. If going on to oscillator, sorry, for the second one, which is this one. And you can see that the sample is, is called the generated sign. That is a sign scene. Okay, but let, let's go back to the scene management. So as uh, I explained, you can set a scene. So you can go on the drones, click on one, then click on set, and it will load that scene. And remember, a scene will contain uh, parameters such as the space settings, the reflect setting, the volume, etc., etc. But you still have to record, of course, for example, if you create a new oscillator preset that separately. Um, you can save, of course, uh, changes to your scene, and uh, you can also save it clicking on the button here. You can create a new one, and the way it works is, um, let's say that uh, I choose uh, Absent Butterfly, and I set it as well. So I have my parameter all set based on the scene. I decrease a bit the level as well. And that is my scene. I can click on New. And it will say make new scene and save all parameters to it. I click OK. And it will generate another scene, same name. It added the one at the end. And it is still in the group drones. Okay. Now that I've created a new one, 
I can of course delete it if I want to, but I can rename it. If I click rename, it shows you how groups work and I also create it. You see there is the name of the group drones in front of the name of the scene and then a comma. So I could change that drones and say sound for more group, leave the comma, click OK. And as you can see, we have a new group called SFM for sound for more and we have that uh, scene preset just uh, loaded inside that group. Indeed, if I go up the hierarchy, you can see that. Now let's go back inside. You can, of course, select one, set it. You can rename it as we have seen, or you can also copy it and it will copy to the clipboard. And you can, of course, paste it as well. You click OK and you have a pasted uh, a scene, which is again a copy of the first one. Now, you can uh, delete um, a scene you just created. Click on delete after you selected one. And you can also go up the hierarchy, selecting your group, of course, leaving the selection there and click delete and that will delete the group and everything inside. The next thing I want to show you is how you can use hotkey. So let's say that you want to change uh, the scenes which have been assigned as hotkeys. Well, simple. You just selected, you just select one and then you click hotkey and then you decide which location you want to have it. So for example, you can say, I want it uh, on the top, absent butterfly, and it will be there for you on the top. And in that way, it's also easy to select it and close the screen as I showed you a moment ago. The other things as well is that from this position in Simscaper, you see on the left here of the name of the scene, it says hockey. If you click on it, you can, it shows you the first three hotkeys and you can select them very quickly from there. Click on scene again, it goes back to the default view. And now if we want to put it back to, to where it was, we just select uh, uh, Windows and Nebula, we press hockey and we position it at the top again. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is, is how this pack button works. Again, very simple. Let's say that uh, we select again that mini uh, Azure low base. And uh, let's set uh, that. And let's also say that we uh, create a new one based on that. We also rename that. And we do the same thing we've done a moment ago. So we created, we created also a group called Sound for More. And we click OK. And we have our new group. Okay, now with that group selected, let's go and click pack. It will say make scene pack from current group. I say okay. Now you can see created that pack under that. And the reason to create that a pack from a group of scene is for sharing purposes. So now that you have done that, you can close the button, go on to files management, which will cover in another tutorial. And you can see your pack there. And now you can click on open in save it to your local iPad or share it with other applications. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Hopefully now you know how scene management uh, uh, works um, in Simscaper. Let me delete that group again, like so. Let me delete also the scene pack because you can do that as well. I hope you enjoy. See you at the next tutorial. Bye.